Hey guys, it's Justin Goodber here with Financially Simple. So I'm in the office today and I wanted to shoot a quick video. You can see kind of that I'm at the desk here, you know, but I want to shoot a quick video on a frustration of a certified financial planner. So unless you've had your head in the sand, the last three weeks have been dramatic for the stock market. It just has. I've been the last five hours going through all of our client accounts and doing rebalancing or doing strategic purchases on the accounts which fit which needed it and i'm looking at all the accounts and i just came onto a, a client account that i'll meet with here very soon and i'm noticing that in the last three weeks we basically have given up all of the gains we made over the last year well almost all a large portion of the gains so I know that it is extremely, extremely frustrating to look at a statement, to look at the markets, to hear the doom and gloom from the, from the media pundits, as I call them the financial pornography channels. I know that it is frustrating. I know when you open up your statement here in the next week, in the next two weeks, three weeks, if you get a monthly statement for the month of October, it is going to be frustrating. I know that, but let me tell you something that's really, really, really frustrating. It's that whenever I take a look at each individual account and see that a conservative investor loses more money this year thus far than the aggressive investor, that's frustrating to me. Whenever I see that the markets don't work how they should, whenever I see that the large cap growth is outperforming the large cap value, that's frustrating. Whenever I see the international markets not doing what they should because of whatever reason, political, whatever, that's frustrating. But overall, whenever I look at each individual account, it can get aggravating to me to see that a year's worth of work in three weeks, actually about five trading days time is whoop, gone. So I get the frustration. I deal with on my own account. I would just dealt with my, my own personal accounts very last, got all the other clients taken care of first and I'm dealing with mine. But here's the most frustrating thing to me. If I scroll back through my systems and I look at not each individual client account, but I look at the entire book, as we call it, the entire mix of client accounts, and I watch the eight-figure drop <laughs> in three weeks' time, I start questioning myself like many of you are. We're questioning, well, are we doing the right things? The market's going crazy. Should we? And so here's what I've heard thus far from very, very, very knowledgeable people. Good guys, I got to tell you, our clients are some of the smartest people I know. We've got clients who are multi, I mean, college educated far beyond my, my scope. We have clients who run million, billion dollar corporations. We have clients who are paying the bills for multiple different uh, small, small business owners. So these guys and gals, these are some top they know their stuff. We have some good clients. But I get questions which I ask myself. Questions like, well, Justin, should we do something different? Well, we addressed that in the last video the other day, but just as a recap, whenever the market does something like it's doing now, it may feel emotions. It may feel like we're doing something wrong. When in fact, we're not. A highly diversified portfolio is really all that we're looking for at most times. And that's usually to accomplish what a client needs to accomplish in their personal finances. So if long as it's a highly diversified portfolio and it's invested to your risk tolerance and it's, and it's blended with a written financial plan, if it's blended with a written financial plan, then it'll help you meet your goals and that helps control the emotion. Here's what I'm noticing. Those individuals who have engaged our firm to actually do comprehensive written financial planning to say, here's where we're at today and here's where we're going to be in a couple of years. Those individuals, the conversation is much different than those individuals who say, no, I don't want financial planning. I just want you to manage money. See, those individuals who have we had written financial planning done for them, just meeting with a client yesterday, we called in. The market is down. I mean, they just moved the money into us. The account's down like 8% right now. And it was like, and I'm not saying it was ho-hum. It was, we get it. We understand where we're at. We understand that this is to be expected. We understand that the market right now is doing what it should do, which is not a bad thing, folks. It's doing what it should do. We understand all that, but it's no matter if the market drops 20% or gains 20%, it's really not going to affect us for the next seven years. So that's what a written financial plan did for one person. On the other hand, I had clients here this week who are saying, man, 
Do, do I need to change something? Do I need to do something different? Do I, should we come out of the market? Should we try to time the market, jump in, jump out? So all those questions are very valid. I got to tell you, they're very valid and they make a lot of sense. But he, here's what we do, okay? Whenever we're dealing with the markets that are going crazy like they are now, the first thing we do is we make sure our perspective is accurate. Are we looking at the markets for the duration of our planning? In other words, if, if I'm 40 almost and I'm really not going to touch the money for the next 20 years, then the markets affecting me today is not a big deal. In fact, I should be buying when the market dips, trying to find as much money and buy more. On the other hand, if I'm a client who, you know what, I'm going to retire in five years, well, now we better make sure that your planning's done accurately and the portfolio matches your goals, not only your five-year goals, but your 10, your 15, and 20-year goals. And oftentimes those people who have the fear, the fear of the market, don't realize how the market can help or hurt them as they're making that approach. I was talking with a client yesterday, a very astute client, very, very smart client. And I said, you know, we're, we're climbing Mount Everest is the way I described it, where we've hit base camp. We've got to reach to the pinnacle. We've got to go all the way to the summit of the mountain right now. You know, if you were going to do that in real life, obviously you would train for years, which, which many people do. But then what they do is they hire a Sherpa. They hire an individual to guide them up the mountain to reach the pinnacle. And, you know, many people, it's not safe. Many people die in that scenario. We actually, there are TV shows about it. But the Sherpa is there to guide you on the way up. If you read any accounts of Mount Everest, the most dangerous part of the climb is not the ascent, it's the descent. So if you're within that five year period to where you're going to retire or you're just retiring, you're five years down, now emotional control is going to matter more than anything else at this point. It's going to matter a lot. So you've got to make sure your emotions are in, hand, in check. So all we're really doing right now, and this sounds so boring, is saying things like, you don't jump out of the market when the market's down. You don't change your allocation because the market's up. You don't try to time the market by putting more dollars in strategically or taking money out strategically. We don't do that. We stay very, 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 very boring. Now that's opposite to so many planners out there. I get it. But it's not opposite to the big dollar planners, okay? So for example, Warren Buffett, you know, he's, he's quoted so much. One of the things he says is that our trading ought to hinge on the area of slothfulness. In other words, be like a sloth, be very slow. We also, a lot of these, a lot of the multi, multi, super affluent advisors, they're looking at making very few trades. We're not making a lot of trades. I'm rebalancing right now. I'm taking the positions which we've made money on and I'm buying the positions which we lost money on because the market is in a bit of a dip. Is it going to stay in a dip? I don't know. Is it going to drop 20%? I don't know. Now you may say, well, Justin, what do you think? What I think is, is we're dealing with a small correction within the market at this point. You're like, no, duh. Yeah, I get that. You probably hear somebody over here blowing their nose. That's my crazy business part. Let me walk around. There's, there's Mr. Dattar back there. Yeah, he's, he's kind of that way sometimes. But anyways, what do I think? What do I think is right now the market is going through a little bit of a correct, correction. Do I think it's going to stay in a negative posture? No, I don't. Like, well, why, Justin? Well, we did get some housing news today that came out today showing the housing starts were not as good as we expected. But if you look at the economy, the macros of the economy, we're still in a really good position at this point to see a little bit more growth. So I don't see the market poised right now for a major collapse. I just don't. There's nothing currently that I can see in the market with all the training I have and all the research I do. There's nothing I can see in the market right now which says, hey, the market is going to drop significantly a 50%, which is a fear that many people have from back in 08. I don't see that right now. You say, well, Justin, what do we do? Look, the frustration that the planner has is that we can't tell the future. The frustration a planner has, it is, we wish we could tell the future. Don't get me wrong. I wish I could tell the future. We can't. The frustration a planner has is watching the accounts that we work so hard trying to grow for our clients wipe out a significant amount of gains in a very, very short period of time. That is very frustrating to us. Trust us. It's aggravating. What can we do? We can stick to the basics, folks. Make sure you have a written financial plan. If you're a business owner, make sure you have a financial plan that incorporates how to grow the value of your company and how to build your positions in your company right now to where you can weather the 
pending, the looming, whatever you want to say, the recession, which at some point will happen. Is it going to happen tomorrow? Probably not. Is it going to happen next year? I don't think so, but probably not. So the first thing we can do is we have a plan that makes sure we're prepared for whatever happens. That's number one. Number two is we don't try to time the market. We don't try to allow our, emotion, our emotions to work. We use a cool level head. We build a portfolio that's specifically designed for you and your particular needs. We're not trying to throw you in a portfolio that a thousand other people are in. That's not the idea. You want to build a portfolio and you want to have a portfolio that is specific to your risk tolerance. And get this, it may be stocks and bonds. It may not. It may be business. It may be real estate. It may be cash. It could be a number of things, but you have to have a portfolio that meets your needs and no one else's. So that's number two. Number three is, is that whenever the markets do what they do right now, turn off the financial pornography channels. Just turn them off. It doesn't do us any good to stress over those things which we can't control. It doesn't. Fear is a major, a major um, inhibitor of success. It is. Fear will cause problems. Fear is just amazing when it comes to investing. Turn off the channels. It really doesn't matter what's going to happen today, tomorrow, the next day in the news, unless you're maybe climbing the mountain. And if you're climbing five years from retirement or five years just into retirement, you better have a CFP that's working with you and make sure you're accurate. But those of us who's not there, just, man, just turn it off. Don't worry about it. Make sure your plan's in place. That's what you need to worry about. Then, then number four, you want to do the things which you can control. What can you control? Well, you can control your savings rate. You can control your spending rate. You can control your education for your knowledge. You can control the amount of planning you do to reduce your taxes, which is a major. You should be doing that right now is the time to do tax planning. You can control the education you get to your children. You can control your faith. You can control so much. You can't control the market can't. So why does it matter to worry about it? Once you get those basic things in place, guys, then it's just a matter of having a little bit of faith. Have a little bit of faith. You're like, Justin, I don't. Well, I'm sorry. Um, I wish you did. Because if you don't have a little bit of faith that this world that we live in is going to be okay, then it's a lonely road to walk down. So I, you want to hear a frustration of the planner? It's not the clients. Trust me, I get clients. I understand where their frustration is. I live it. I live it day in, day out as I'm working with client accounts. I live it day in, day out with clients. I carry burdens. My, my team, in fact, I'm getting more and more gray hair. They're picking on me. I'm not even 40. I'm like silver foxed here. They give me a hard time. I said, Justin, you cannot carry the frustration and the weight of your clients. I'm sorry. It's who I am. I have some, we have some great clients and I love them. I love their families. I love seeing them succeed. I was with a business owner yesterday. Their business is up almost 300%. 300%. That's amazing to me. Was with another business owner the other morning. Successful business owner by all means. If I called their name, people in East Tennessee would know them. We're sitting here and we're making small micro moves. Our meeting yesterday is going to generate probably about $25,000 in benefit to them. Nothing major. That's what you can do as, a, as, a, as an individual right now. Look, don't worry about the markets. Let, let the planners work, worry about the markets. Just don't panic. No matter if it goes up significantly tomorrow, no matter if it goes down significantly tomorrow, you can't control it anyways. And if you're not five years from retirement, don't worry about it. Stay invested. Now, look, nothing I've said here today is investment advice. It's not. What I'm going to specifically tell you to do is hire a good financial planner, not a stockbroker, not someone who's going to sell you investments. I, we, we talked to someone the other day that some stock, mm, better watch out, some investment guy, which is not, he's just a crooks what he is. He had this guy cash in an annuity, pay a surrender fee of excess of 10 grand. Okay. It's just, ugh. also he could theoretically put them in a position that actually went bankrupt. Thank God this individual did not put their money with this, this client did not put their money with this advisor, so to speak. <laughs> Hire a certified financial planner who works for a registered investment advisor, someone who acts and puts it in writing that they're a fiduciary and they're not trying to sell you something. They're going to go with you on the long term. That is one thing you can do. If you're not doing that right now, I challenge you to do it. Lots of good planners out there. If you, if you don't want to work with us, I can give you the name of a couple others that are really good that I trust. Hey, look, guys, like I say all the time, life is hard. Ooh, the stock market is frustrating. I get it. The stock market is frustrating. None of this has to be. Hey, check out the new website. They've been working on it behind the scenes, financiallysimple.com. Look, let's remember to keep our lives at least financially simple. I know it's a little longer today. I'm sorry for rambling, but just want to share some frustrations of a planner. Hey, y'all go out and make it a great day.